we are in the presence of the most holy divine lord and definitely we ought to praise him we need we need to praise him because he has come to us to impart his most precious blessings upon us it is true that all of us go through a hard time a time of anxiety a time of despair a time of hopelessness a time of fear but still but still the lord is taking care of you and me but still we are breathing but still we are surviving it is not because of anything but solely it is because of the mercy of the lord it is because of his kindness it is because of his truthfulness it is because of his righteousness it is said in the acts of the apostles when paul and silas they were in prison when they were tortured when they were persecuted still in the prison they were singing praises to heavenly father they were praising him in the midst of persecution what happened was prison gates were opened their chains were released because in the midst of the hard time they sang the songs of praises therefore though we feel that we are losing everything though we feel that we are losing the spirit we need to praise our heavenly father we need to praise the living presence of god we need to praise the living guidance of the lord through the holy spirit and it is of that in the psalm 34 it is says very beautifully i will bless the lord at all times his praise shall continually be in my mouth my soul makes its boast in the lord let the humble hear and be glad they are for dear lord though i have not asked anything if not though i have asked so many things still for all you have taken care of me still for all you have given the sufficient things to survive to my family it is because you are so gracious to me it is because you are so pleasing to me though i am not pleasing to you though i am not grateful to you though i am not truthful to you still for all dear lord 
you are being merciful to me therefore let us raise our voices of thanksgiving to our heavenly father let us join with the heavenly choirs and let us sing let us praise the lord for everything he has granted to you and me at this very moment let us praise him with these beautiful words we praise the father we praise the son we praise the spirit alleluia we praise the father we praise the son we praise the spirit that your name should be praised not only in heavens but on this earth not only in your presence but here on earth your name should be praised your name should be glorified because dear lord you have been truthful to your promises you have been proved that you are the almighty lord you have done great things for me that no one else can do you have done wonders in our family when everything seems to be so afar when everything seems to be scattered away you are the only power we have you are the only lord who intervened for our lives dear lord when everybody left us away when all the doors were shut for us you are the only one who welcomed us you are the only one who opened your door though we are not grateful in spite of our sinfulness in spite of our weaknesses in spite of our fragileness still lord you are looking upon our lives still lord we feel your love still lord we feel your kindness still lord we have the things that we need to survive therefore dear lord as the prophet habakkuk says Though the fig tree does not blossom, and no fruit is on the vines, though the produce of the olive falls, and the fields yield no food, though the flock is cut off from the fold, and there is no herd in the stalls, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will exult in the God of my salvation. Therefore, dear Lord, though we have no results. though we have no success though we have no aim still lord i am here with you i am here with you with the mighty angels to praise your name lord to praise your sovereign name therefore once again join in our hands together for everything he has done for you and me we praise the let father, us praise him we praise the son we praise the spirit alleluia we praise the father we praise the son we praise the spirit alleluia alleluia
thank you for your kindness when i was unkind thank you for your forgiveness when i was unable to forgive thank you for your mercy when i was not able to be merciful thank you for your care when i was not able to take care of others thank you for your kindness when i was not able to guide others thank you lord for your power when i was powerless so dear heavenly father in the living presence of your beloved son with all my heart with all my soul with all my strength i say to you thank you lord thank you lord for your unending love in the gospel of john chapter 3 verses 16 we find beautiful words saying for god so loved the world that he gave his only son this is that proof his unending love unfathomable love uncomprehensible love and when the god the father was so kind to offer his only son for us in roman in letter to the romans chapter 5 verses 8 st paul very clearly beautifully writes while we still were sinners christ died for us when father loved us by giving his only son his only son loved us by offering his divinity and becoming a slave to human body and he so loved the world that at the cross he gave up his life that at the cross this truly living jesus gave up his blood gave up his flesh not because of anything because of only one thing that is love that is love though he died on the cross with his body and with his blood still he presented us his living presence he presented us his living presence jesus once said we have a living god not a god of dead we have a living god therefore dear lord fill us with your love in this moment everything is prized everything is sold everything is bought humanity is up to sale yes lord even the love it is taken for granted but you living lord you made it holy 
by your suffering by your death you made the word love holy you gave the holiness to that beautiful aspect of love but dear lord today i feel that i am not loved i feel that i am not cared by and dear lord still i feel i cannot love the other you once said love one another as i have loved you it is said you loved your disciples until the end of the times therefore dear lord when everything is falling apart only thing that is standing before us is your love dear lord therefore at this very beautiful holy moment i urge you dear lord fill me with your love give that power of your love with your love you change so many hearts you change wicked hearts you change sinful hearts you change hearts full of lust you change hearts full of addictions that is because your love has the power to change everything to renew everything to strengthen up everything therefore dear lord give us your love fill us with your spirit of love so that i would be an instrument of your powerful love asking his heavenly love let us sing these beautiful words in front of the living presence of the lord three times do you love me and here i am having faced the same question do you love me but lord within my heart i still feel i have not given everything to you 
though i say with the words i love you my heart is somewhere else therefore dear lord unveil my eyes so that i would see you face to face unveil my eyes so i would feel your love i would experience your love within my family unveil my eyes so that dear lord as you saw in every human being a suffering god i would also see suffering you in all my family members in all who my meet so that dear lord i would heal them not with my love but with your love lord therefore fill me with your love guide me with your love redeem me with your love beautify me with your love let us ask heavenly father to unveil our eyes lord unveil my eyes let me see your face to your face with the knowledge of your Jesus who has all the power to lead me with his love to impart his most solemn blessing upon us and to fill our hearts not with anything but dear Jesus fill my heart only only with your power of love
Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation won for us and the peace of the kingdom, where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. 